Greg, let's get this kicked off, man. There's so many folks that I hear all the time in media that I read about on blogs, and they're they're part of your, I suppose, light your hair on fire crowd. They're always saying dumb things. Smart people saying dumb things, I think, is really fun for me to talk about because there are like a lot of them out there, and then I don't understand what they're saying. And it's just like, are you kidding me? What's something that you that you've heard in media recently that you're like, wait a minute, this desi- this deserves some airtime? <laughs> like- yeah, I'm drowning in it. I'm drowning in it. I could do this segment every hour on the hour. Um, and you know what's fun is that the, the the title that we came up with, smart people saying dumb things, it's it's so um, like we're we're pretending to give them a compliment first by calling them smart people and then nailing them with the dumb things. So um, I mean that I I know a lot of the people that are writing this stuff and I I can't quite figure out. Let me give you today's example. Today meaning today when we're, we're airing this show and and there's new ones all the time. Uh, this one comes from my friends at DS News and they are my friends. Um, but they fell into a headline here, and the headline is The Big Shortage. And it talks about how the next housing crisis is um, is happening as a result of, you know, the new Satan in real estate, affordability, right? Right. Affordability is low. Everything is great in the housing market, but affordability is low, and so they seized upon this. And let me give you an analogy. Have you ever heard them say, you know, and in stock market news, the Dow Jones is up 220 points today, which means affordability just went down and that sucks. And and let's talk about the next recession as a result of affordability because the stock market went up. Right. That's what this, nobody ever says that, right? But that's what this is. The stock market became less affordable the day the prices went up, <laughs> right? Right. But usually when they talk about the stock market, they're more focused on the businesses whose stock prices went up. All the people whose 401ks and pensions and portfolios just went up. And so it's one of these things where if you're in it, you are winning it. All right. But in real estate, we say if you're not in it yet, that we're going to focus on how hard it is to get in and we're going to focus on affordability. So for the same reason that if the stock market is doing well, it's because the prices are going up. When the real estate market prices are going up, the market is doing well. You know, I guess I just imagine for a second that they get their way and tomorrow affordability shoots up. You know what causes affordability to get better? Take a while, guess what makes affordability get better? What's what's gonna ease this pain? What's gonna heal this wound in the housing market? Affordability is gonna get better. You know what that means? What does that mean? Talk to that me. means prices came down. That's right. <laughs> prices That's came down. Now, are they gonna run a headline saying, Oh, our dreams have come true. Affordability is getting better. No, they're going to say home prices plummet. <laughs> that's, that's what they're going to right. say. And, that's, and, and then that's another crisis altogether. Right. Then it's, right. Hey, let's, yeah, let's it's, swing the other way. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, the, the, sub, the sub headline on the website right here is um, the next housing crisis. Okay. The next housing crisis. Let's, let's unpack that one for a second. Okay. There's only been one housing crisis since the Great Depression. There was the Great Depression, which had a crisis on everything. And then there was the Great Recession, which also had a housing crisis. I hear people all the time, and don't let anybody get away with it on your show, Avi. People all the time say, well, the market's cyclical, and that means that what goes up must come down. Eh, Incorrect, okay? The market is cyclical, and home prices have only come down one time. Now, I say that. And I know there are, there are people in their cars right now listening to this saying, that can't be true. I mean, how can this one guy say something that everybody is wrong about uh, or everybody else is saying the opposite? And just trust me, they're all incorrect and I am correct. I am looking at a 40-year chart. I'm sorry, not 40. I got a 40 and I've got an 80-plus year chart. I've got a chart that shows home prices in America going back to 1940. 1940, okay? Hmm. Democrats, Republicans, wartime, peacetime, high rates, low rates, recessions, b- booms, busts, everything all of under that the stuff. sun. Everything. All of it. What you see, yeah. you see a gradual incline with barely little blips, a little tiny, you, you zoom in real close, you see little little vibrations. That's all they are, little vibrations, okay? But Greg, we had the big malaise in the late 1970s and re- interest rates were at 80% and everybody I know in real estate tells me that, well, the market was horrible. Well, it was horrible if you were selling real estate for a living because nobody was buying real estate mm. because rates were 20%. Home prices went flat for a year or two. That's it. That's all he did. But Greg, late 1980s, we had the big you know, Black Friday or whatever the hell it was. And the real estate market crashed too. Yeah, that's your realtor friend telling you that. The real estate market froze up in the early 1990s and cooled off and the real estate values didn't really go anywhere. So if you were in the market 
again, going back to a Wall Street definition of what's good, the values held. They just held. What happened 10 years ago is prices went too high because banks got loose on lending. People had blank checks in their pocket for larger amounts of money than they, they should have had. So they bid properties up. Those properties were overvalued. They crested, came back down again, corrected and leveled back off again. So there are people who are saying things are good right now. And so they are obviously they're going to get bad again because that's what happens in the, in the housing market. What goes up must come down, except that it's not going to come down until it goes up artificially too high, which isn't happening right now. Right. Um, and that's what they're looking. They're looking at affordability being low, meaning prices are too high, which equals bad news. And they're incorrect because they think what what goes up must come down, but it's not going to. I feel like very recently, 2008, all right, 2008, bad predatory lending, terrible stuff. But that that made sense, right? It made sense that prices were artificially increased at that time. Are we sending? Are we seeing bad lending practices right now? No, no, we're not. Absolutely and let not. Me, let me and let me let me tell you how that looked on the ground, okay? Because at that time, I was running a real estate company that had about a thousand brokers in the field in the New York area and uh, suburban New York, so it was houses, right? And the way it looked is that John and Mary were out buying a house. They had they were going to buy a three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars house, and they got pre-approved by the lender. And the lender said you can afford four seventy-five. Right. And they said, oh, and so here's your pre-approval. That's the blank check I'm talking about. Yeah. You could buy a house for four seventy-five. Oh, okay. So guess what happened next? The realtor went out and showed him some houses at three twenty-five, and then a couple at three seventy-five, and one at four ten. And guess which one was the nicest one? Right. The one at four ten. <laughs> So they got into a bidding war. They bid 400. They got outbid 410, 420, 435. They're sitting there sweating, and they're looking at this blank check saying, I can afford 475. The bank couldn't possibly be wrong, right? They wouldn't qualify for me for 475 if I couldn't afford it. That example happens millions of times across the country at the same time, okay? People were literally clamoring to get properties, losing bidding wars, coming out swinging on the next one, and spending the funny money they had in their pockets. Right, that's what drove the prices up. The existence of that lending standard being so loose. I'm mean, gonna give you another example. I was in, I had a mortgage company at that time also, so I'm running this real estate company that sells 500 houses a month. We have our own mortgage company, so we're doing 100 mortgages a month. And I was on conference calls with our lender partners who would say, um, "Hey, remember last week we told you that if you have a 680 credit score and you put down 20%." We won't even ask you what your salary is, or you can say whatever you want. They called it stated income. You can write down what your income is, and we won't check. Right. Okay, sounds crazy, but you guys are the lenders. You must know. I remember thinking to myself, man, their computers are getting so smart because they know <laughs> they know yeah, that right. this. <laughs> I did, I, <laughs> but we, I didn't know this was 2003. Okay. Right. So these lenders are freaking geniuses. They right. know that a 680 credit score and 20% down means you'll eat dog food out of the can before you're going to skip your, mor your mortgage payment, right? Uh, two weeks later, hey, guess what? Uh, we're going to do this now at a 660 credit score, and you only have to put 10% down, and then you can fill out whatever you want. So if you're a sanitation worker and you need to make $180,000 a year in salary to qualify, just write 180000 in that field right. and then sign the form. That right. happened, right? Yep. So people were literally being encouraged to fake their income, because they were drooling over the house they wanted, and that just popped the property values up, um, which then caused them to come down. And so everybody has this recent memory of home prices plummeting, home prices free falling, housing collapse, housing crisis, right? And if you look at what happens now, and you can go to any property, any portfolio on ownamerica.com and find the price appreciation history chart, you can see the blue line. It shows you the United States over the last 20 years, and you can see it go from calm to up to down to back calm again, and it just absorbed the whole correction. So my, again, like this is what I constantly tell people, 2008, 9, 10, bad years, got it, for the, for the reasons we were just talking about. But even if you purchase during those years, you're probably one of the luckiest people in the world, probably right. the smartest p person in the world, because... Guess where the market is right now? It came roaring back. So, moral of the story, buy real estate, make smart decisions, and you'll win.